Cause if you're looking at me All things Southern Live You're looking at country Hey Louisiana, do you want a great deal? Talk to Jim Taylor can make it real in a Chevy. If you're looking for a large selection and a great deal on a used car, truck, or SUV, come to Jim Taylor Chevrolet. We have over 150 in stock. GM certified mid-size and full-size SUVs, two and four-wheel drive trucks, compact mid-size and full-size cars, and 15 passenger vans. Price, service, and selection is what makes you number one at Jim Taylor Chevrolet in Ravel. Welcome to All Things Southern, bringing you the charm and heritage of the South. Here's your host, Shelly Tomlinson. Hello, folks. I'm Shelly. They call me the Belle of All Things Southern. Have a seat. We need to chat. I have accidentally found a website where a woman can post a text message from her man so the public at large can vote on it and let her know if he is into her, not that into her, or if the jury's still out. Dear ones, dating really shouldn't require a committee. For illustration, I offer you the following family story. Once upon a time, my great, 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 great grandfather, Joseph May, returned from fighting in the Revolutionary War to discover that his young wife had died, leaving him with three small children. Now being more confident fighting engines and redcoats than raising kids, Joseph looked to strike a bargain with his brother who was himself due to report for duty. Joseph offered to serve in his brother's place if his brother and his wife would raise Joseph's children with their own. The brother agreed, and Joseph returned to war. He survived again and returned home once more anticipating a happy reunion, only to be totally devastated. Y'all, Joseph found his children cold, bedraggled, and hungry gathered around a fire in the front yard. They had been forced to live outdoors while his brother's children were cared for inside. How's that for a thank you for serving? Family history records that Joseph gave his brother a polite cussing. A polite cussing. I would elaborate on that for y'all, but I'm not so sure where the line is. Regardless, Joseph left on horseback with the promise to go get himself a wife and his children a mother. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, up, up. Joseph rode straight to the home of a friend's house who had died beside him in battle, fully aware that his buddy had left behind a wife and children of his own. Widow McLean greeted Joseph and invited him to come in, but the determined young man said, Not before I be telling you my business, ma'am. I'm hunting myself a wife. If you're not interested, I'll need to be moving on. Well, what do you know? Widow McLean decided right there on the spot that she was indeed interested, and Joseph dismounted. And after a brief discussion, great, 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 great grandpappy left there an engaged man. Now that is a record-setting courtship, and Joseph didn't need a committee to pull it off. As a matter of fact, high-speed internet is choking in his trail dust. Y'all have a great big day and come see me. That's allthingsouthern.com. This is Shelly with Hugs for All.